In this video, we're going to look at installing Jenkins on a, uh, in this case, an Alma Linux uh, 8 distribution, but the same goes for CentOS 8, Red Hat 8, anything derived from that Red uh, Hat source code. We're going to install Jenkins um, and configure it um, and have a look through some of the plugins. So Jenkins actually gives some very, very good uh, instructions on uh, installing their application. Um, so if you go to Jenkins.io um, and click on the documentation link, um, go to installing Jenkins and then pick how you want to install Jenkins. So we're going to go for Linux and then we're going to go for Red Hat CentOS. Obviously, if we had Debian Ubuntu, we would click on that. If we're running Fedora, we'd click there. So we're just going to click here. And a little bit down here, we've got some copy and paste instructions of what we need to do for the long-term supported release. If we want to go with the weekly release, um, which obviously is a little bit more bleeding edge, um, but it is going to, you know, notoriously have some bugs and things like that um, in it. Um, I generally tend to stay with the long-term supported version unless there's something really in that weekly release that addresses a problem that I need. So we'll go ahead, we'll uh, copy and paste these instructions. Um, we can go then start Jenkins, enable it on boot. So let's go ahead um, and start looking through some of these things. So I have a server here. First thing I'm going to do is actually um, set the host name. So we've set that to Jenkins um, and then let's have a look at these instructions. Now I'm already running as root, uh, so I don't actually need sudo. So what this is going to do here is we're going to go to this URL, um, grab this file, this Jenkins.repo file, and put it into etc yum repos.d. Um, and obviously what that's going to do is then set a Jenkins uh, repository. Now we'll notice wget is not there. This is a brand new installation of Alma Linux, which is a derivative of uh, Red Hat. Um, so by default, on a minimal install, you don't really get a lot, including wget. So I'm just going to go ahead and install wget, and then I'm going to rerun that command um, to get the Jenkins repo. And there we have it. So if we look in etc yum.repos.d and Jenkins, we will have here um, the Jenkins repository. Here's where we're going to get it from. And I'll notice here that the GPG check is set to one. So hopefully in these steps we have, yes, we do, um, to install the Jenkins key. So let's go ahead and import the key, which we've now done. The next thing, um, it talks about doing a yum upgrade. Um, I'm actually not going to do that. Um, I'm going to just skip that step um, and do the yum install Java 11 open JDK. So uh, Jenkins is a uh, Java um, application um, and you need Java 11 currently, the open JDK version um, to So that's going to go through and install OpenJDK. And then after that's installed, um, you can then install Jenkins. Don't try and install them side by side. Don't try and install Jenkins first. It will fail um, if it can't find um, Java there. So now the next instructions are to install Jenkins, which is here. And then Jenkins actually includes some system CTL files, uh, so we just want to do a reload um, just to pull in um, those configs. We can ignore the weekly release, we're not going to do that, and then it's talking about uh, that we can enable, we can start, and we can check the status of Jenkins. So let's go ahead and enable Jenkins. Let's go ahead and start Jenkins, which will take a minute. So um, don't worry that it's just looks to be just hanging there. It's not hanging. Um, it's actually running a load of stuff in the background. So just give it a few seconds and hopefully we will see that started. So we can see now that uh, Jenkins is installed um, and it's asking us to unlock Jenkins. So 
if we have a look in here, we will see there is a admin password. So we need to copy that out. So if we can cut that, copy the file out, pop it in here, and hit continue. So now we get the option to install suggested plugins or select plugins to install. For the purpose of this video, and the fact that we don't know a lot about plugins at the moment, I'm just going to install these suggested plugins. Um, it's a good mix. Um, you've got um, quite a few uh, plugins that you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis and probably some in there that you'll never use. And here are all the plugins that you get. So I'll be going through now um, and you can go to uh, the Jenkins documentation and read up about these various plugins. Um, but these are the ones that are getting installed. So once the plugins are finished, it's time to create your first admin user. So I'm going to go ahead. My name's Toby. I'm going to set a password. And then it's asking what your URL is going to be. Um, I'm going to keep it to the default and just use the IP address followed by port 80. And there we have it. Jenkins is now ready. So I can hit on start using Jenkins and we'll get in there and I am already logged in. 